I'm going to talk about herpes and marmosets. Um, these are marmosets, they're little tiny monkeys. They are native to like more rainforesty regions, but people have been bringing them over here. Uh, so first, what is herpes? There's two types that, uh, well the herpes simplex virus, it is a virus, uh, herpes, HSV1 is oral herpes, and then genital herpes is the two. I'm going to talk about uh, oral herpes because that is what affects uh, the marmosets the most. So just real quick, what's a virus? A small infectious agent that replicates inside the living cell and it can infect all life forms. Um, the process of how the virus gets in and then starts the infection, so you can have, so oral herpes is just like cold sores, I'm sure a lot of you have had a cold sore before, I get them all the time, I don't know about you guys. Um, so the virus enters through the skin or the mucosa, it'll go to the epithelial cells afterwards and it'll they'll repl replicate in the cells. Then they'll go to the free sensory nerve endings on the dermis and then viral genome from the virus is transferred to sensory ganglia. The virus will remain here inactive and then when it starts shedding is when um, it basically starts replicating again and that's it you don't have to see symptoms so you can have this showing zero symptoms um, and then it can be passed on to like your saliva or other body fluids and then you can affect other people um, so herpes virus original their hosts are people they can be in primates but there is no original the only spider monkeys are original hosts for this um, Primates end up making like good hosts for these viruses. It is transmissible from us to monkeys, and then um, it can be fatal in humans. And then, as we'll talk about a little bit, it will be fatal to these little monkeys. So, how it happens? People who carry these monkeys around, it's like they're little pets. They end up giving them kisses or feeding them with their mouth or. If you share foods or something, you can give your oral herpes to your monkey very easily. So um, they, they can be like, even in zoos, like people visiting can do this very easily. The, so like I said before, the interaction with the saliva or any excretion that has the virus is how it is transmitted to these monkeys. So marmosets are very successful, especially when they're under stress, um, or if they have a fever and their normal temperature is around 98 degrees. It is spread through direct contact, as I've said, and then spider monkeys and squirrels are the only, squirrel monkeys are the only primates that are natural host for this. So if a marmoset is near a squirrel monkey who has this, it, that's the other way. So signs of illness, there's a picture of what it looks like when it affects them. It doesn't really do much to us if we have them. It'll go away, it'll come back. But when they get it, it's basically fatal. There's really not much hope for your marmoset. Um, it's very quick, and by the time you start noticing some symptoms, it's probably too late for them. Uh, so, You'll see the ulcers, their tails will become limp, they start being a little depressed, fever, diarrhea, vomiting. And then the main symptom is they'll start having seizures. So, but by then, it's kind of too late, so you can take them to the vet. But, and the other, other symptoms are they become weak, nasal discharge, and then hypersalivation, appetite loss, and then those like physical ulcers on their face. So treatment is, we'll talk about it a little more later, but like I said, once you go, the treatment won't really help them live unless you like caught it like very, very close, like at the very start. It'll help them survive a little longer, but it won't help them live after this. So this is the disease. Um, 
Well, like I said, so once they get it, if you have a collection of marmosets, it is most likely that they will all get it. There has been a case in Brazil, there was like 12 of them in an enclosed area. One got it from the person who was feeding it and then they just all got it and it's very quick and downhill from there. Um, so there is some medication for it. These are just like some pills. There's also like some cream you can give them. But the thing that people end up doing is euthanasia, uh, like regularly, just because they're in a lot of pain, especially if they've gotten to the point where it got to their nervous system and the seizures are very bad. And so just to put the, the monkey, at, not, not to have them be in pain, people just prefer to euthanize them. So what you can do to prevent this is, if you have one, probably don't take it out to like the supermarket, places where there's a lot of people. These monkeys do need uh, direct sunlight for themselves, so they have to be out, but they don't have to be out with everyone. Don't let random people touch your marmoset, or even if you see some at like Petco or anything, try not to touch them just because they're very susceptible to diseases. Um, it's not like you're gonna get anything, but you can just give them stuff. Uh, and then people could, uh, suggest carriers. So like if you're taking them out, put them in a carrier. Also, even if you touch something that could have the virus and then to end up touching your monkey, that's another way that they're gonna get it. Oh, and then more than 50% of people in America have these. I did read that it was more than 80 or 90 in some Countries. website, yeah. Oh, so, or in the United States as yeah. well. Yeah, okay, so well. I'm going with the 50. Yeah, yeah. Sure. you're conservative, like, yeah. Yeah. Um, and then that's it, those were the references. Okay, questions? Comments? Yes. Um, so you're saying like, talking as if a mark set would be a pet. Do you have a mark set? No, okay. I just, I saw, um, I'm sure you guys watch Dr. K, Exotic Animals. Mm -hmm. that, um, yeah, Michigan. It's a show. Um, she, one came in with the seizures, and then it was actually very hard for her to diagnose it. Oh, is that a female? Said, I was thinking it was a male. Sorry. Oh, but okay. she's she's in okay. Florida. Oh, Florida. And okay. yeah, so after doing her own research, they figured it was a herpes virus, and it was too late. They ended up euthanizing it. So I was like, wow, I didn't know that could happen. So I, do have anybody seen these for sale in pet stores? Oh. What were you going to say? I just, when I was in Thailand last summer, we had like, there was a rehab place where they had like a few monkeys and they had like only very limited people could actually go yeah. around them. Like they didn't let anybody out. Well, see, that's why I have a big bias against anybody owning kind of primate because they pass things to you, you get from them. Why do you want, you know, I'm being kind of maybe not cruel, but why would you want one of these pets? Have to be so careful because look at these boxers. They came to class, we're having a great time. But if you had two marmosets, you wouldn't bring them any place, right? Yeah. And people, if there's things for sale. You can buy a tiger in a line, right? You can go online and find things like that. That doesn't mean you should. And in this case, marmosets, I think, are contraindicated as pets yeah. themselves. But there's crazy, you know, there's people that wanted the novelty. I don't know. This is being recorded, so I'll get some hate mail, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't understand it. Especially the primates, because things pass back and forth. And I mean, that, look at that poor animal that, that had that full-fledged clinical symptom. I mean, all the lesions on that animal, and it's going to be euthanized. <sighs> Are you still? That was like oh yeah, yeah, that's what you're showing me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like yeah. I feel sorry for that animal, and it's it's a one-way road. It's not going to get better, basically. Yeah, they don't. So you, there's really treatment isn't indicated. Euthanasia is indicated in that case. Yeah.